but not only are our soils depleted, they've lost the mechanisms by passing energy on through from sun to, to plant to human. And so this is why I believe we look like we do as a society right now where, you know, recent Medicaid uh, screenings are showing 52% of our children with a chronic disorder or disease by the time they're 16. That's compared to 1.2% in the 1960s, right before we debuted these chemicals. Wait, so, wait, wait. You just said one in two kids are have a chronic disease? Chronic disorder or disease. So someone we don't call diseases, but we call it, you know, asthma or eczema or, uh, you know, Im immune sensitivity to their food or the air they breathe or whatnot. So that's uh, staggering. Of our children by those staggering. Things. staggering. One in two kids. And, yeah. And, and, and at first, when you say that statistic, you're like, that can't be right. Until you walk into an elementary school and take a look around the room and you can immediately see kids, not only with eczema, you can see kids with full blown psoriasis in elementary school now. Uh, and so the amount of gut, you know, disruption that you need to, to develop an autoimmune condition, you know, near psoriasis is devastating. So, and then you see this you know, explosion of leukemias, lymphomas, and weird sarcomas in children that used to appear in 80-year-olds are showing up in children under the age of two now. And so we're, we're showing this just decimation of, of biologic youth or you know, re, uh, regenerative capacity within human biology in this most recent generation. The scary thing is right now we're looking at generation number two of Roundup babies. In our rodent studies that we just you know, reviewed for the EPA, the third generation is where the devastation really gets out of control. Yeah, and we, I saw and we've that. We've never seen that generation. It's epigenetic yet. effects, or it's generation three. So if the grandmother gets exposed, the mother may or may not get sick, but the grand little grand rat gets sick, and yeah. they get kidney disease and cancer and all sorts of hormonal disruptions and endocrine things, which is kind of scary. And they've never been exposed, so it's these transgenerational effects that actually have have consequences and things that we can't even imagine on our children.